Again, the bulk of these legal challenges, as we've been telling you about, has to do with the first of three drugs in Oklahoma's execution protocol. It's called midazolam. It's supposed to knock inmates out before they're killed with the remaining two drugs. Today, Judge Stephen Fry at finding that Stouffer had not proven he was likely to show that that drug's use was unconstitutional. Bigler Stouffer on death row for decades after he was convicted of killing a school teacher named Linda Reeves in the 80s. For unclear reasons, he wasn't part of that ongoing lawsuit challenging Oklahoma's execution protocol, so he recently filed his own lawsuit. Part of the dispute the past two days has centered on exactly what happened during the execution of John Grant last month. Media witnesses said Grant convulsed violently and vomited. Others, including a doctor paid by the state who testified yesterday, said the execution went smoothly. He said movement, or what he called regurgitation, can happen when someone's sedated and that Grant wouldn't have felt pain or been awake. Stouffer's attorney is saying they'll continue to fight. We feel like Mr. Stouffer should be treated the same as everyone else. Uh, and given his opportunity to have his day in court. This case now in front of the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals in Denver. It could go as high as the U.S. Supreme Court.